Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. We have another Hear Drone for you. Psalms chapter 118. Psalms, the book of the sacred songs. Here to see, focusing on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through a chapter of Psalms with a hear journal of each chapter. Hear journaling is a method that many find edifying to their relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn about hear journaling. Now, let's read and listen to Psalm chapter 118 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. And then I'll share my hear journal with you. Psalm 118 Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. Let all Israel repeat, His faithful love endures forever. Let Aaron's descendants, the priests, repeat, His faithful love endures forever. Let all who fear the Lord repeat, His faithful love endures forever. In my distress I prayed to the Lord, and the Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is for me, so I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? Yes, the Lord is for me. He will help me. I will look in triumph at those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Though hostile nations surrounded me, I destroyed them all with the authority of the Lord. Yes, they surrounded and attacked me, but I destroyed them all with the authority of the Lord. They swarmed around me like bees. They blazed against me like a crackling fire, but I destroyed them all with the authority of the Lord. My enemies did their best to kill me, but the Lord rescued me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. Songs of joy and victory are sung in the camp of the godly. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. The strong right arm of the Lord is raised in triumph. The strong right arm of the Lord has done glorious things. I will not die. Instead, I will live to tell what the Lord has done. The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not let me die. Open for me the gates where the righteous enter, and I will go in and thank the Lord. These gates lead to the presence of the Lord, and the godly enter there. I thank you for answering my prayer and giving me victory. The stone that the builders rejected has now become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is wonderful to see. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Please, Lord, please save us. Please, Lord, please give us success. Bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God shining upon us. Take the sacrifice and bind it with cords on the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Okay, that was Psalm chapter 118 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Now for my hear journal. First the highlight. Psalm chapter 118 verses 1 through 9. Verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. Let all Israel repeat. His faithful love endures forever. Let Aaron's descendants, the priests, repeat. His faithful love endures forever. Let all who fear the Lord repeat. His faithful love endures forever. In my distress, I prayed to the Lord, and the Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is for me, so I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? Yes, the Lord is for me. He will help me. I look in triumph at those who hate me. It's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust people. It's better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Okay, and now my explanation. 
The psalmist author provides this psalm that praises God, reminding his people that his faithful love endures forever. The author said that in his distress, he prayed to the Lord and the Lord set him free. He is reminded that the Lord is for him in all circumstances. There is no better refuge than to trust the Lord. Okay, now what's the application for us to today? We too can take comfort in reading Psalm 118. We should turn to Him in our distress. We should turn to Him in any circumstance as there is no better refuge than to trust the Lord. If we really trusting the Lord, then we will think like we trust the Lord. We will talk like we trust the Lord. We will act like we trust the Lord. Trust in the Lord, really and honestly, trust in the Lord. And now, my response. I take comfort in reading Psalm 118. I will turn to you, Lord, in my distress. I choose to turn to you in any circumstances. There is no better refuge for me than to trust in you, Lord. I will know that I am really trusting the Lord because I will think like I trust in you, Lord. I will talk like I trust in you, Lord. I will act like I trust in you, Lord. I will strive to trust in you, Lord, really and honestly, trust in you always. Wow. And I have and I have never regretted turning the Lord, making Him my Lord and Savior, and trusting in Him daily. Now, how about you? Are you going to hear journal? Give it a try, really. Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You'll be so glad you did. You really will. Comment below if you did or if you have or if you got any questions. Comment below. And if you don't know Jesus as Savior, make Him your Lord. Read Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about his gospel and then talk to him. Talk to him about anything. He loves you. He really, really does. Keep seeking him and watch another video. God bless.